course in Asian studies, Japanese, Chinese, Korea, the whole egg roll, and I will not be interrupted by your... Oh, now who could that be? Oh, oh how exciting! It's my correspondence karate course! Says here I need a training partner. <laughs> and you're it! No way, uh-uh. Woodpecker, I'll give you a year's free rent to train me for my big test. Did you say a year's free rent? But you must do everything I tell you, Mimi-san, for obedience is the way of the woodpecker. <laughs> to learn perfect karate rhythm, you must cut sushi rolls to the beat of ancient music. Use the strength of your wrist to flip the sushi over your shoulder and onto this plate without looking. <laughs> How did I do, Master? Fine, you're a winner. You've earned your sushi belt. <laughs> but I think it's time to work on your balance. You must lift your left leg higher. Then, uh, uh, lift your right wing like a crane in flight. Perfect. Right there. No, no. For the balance of the crane, you must lift your right leg like the crane. I mean left wing. No, right arm. I gotta get cable. Using the ground to break your fall was a masterful choice, Mimi-san. When are we going to start kicking butt and taking names? First, you must learn concentration. What's happening? Ignore all distractions. Focus, Mimi-san. Focus. Yes, Master Woody. Yes, Master Yes, Master Woody. This is ridiculous! I don't see any of this stuff in my training manual! You gotta train me like it says in here, or no free rent! Uh, attack like the silent cobra. Okay. You go hide in your house. When I come in, you try to sneak attack me. Oh, now we're talking, Woodpecker. I'm a cobra! Hey, hey, Chummy, is that cheese for Wally Walrus? Nope. Says here it's for Woody Woodpecker. Have a nice day. I love a good stinky cheese. You can hide, but you just can't run, Mimi. Hmm, I must have taught her too good. She could be anywhere. I see your training is going well, Miss Mini. I am here to test you. If I don't pass, no free rent for you, Woodpecker! Buddy, 
I need help. I'll give you my whole collection of kung fu movies on Betamax. But you gotta fight her for me. No can do, Woody-san. The test begins no. Well, then there's only one way to play this. <laughs> you have no courage. You run like the nose of my sister's baby. Your red vein is mine, infidel! Cyclone of Death, A+. Plus. Pain, most impressive. <laughs> Tightrope of terror, A plus again. <laughs> I must say, you are an amazing training partner, Woodpecker-san. Yeah, it's all just wax on, wax off. You know what I'm saying? Actually, no. Woohoo! Mimi, you passed the karate test. That's a year's free rent for me. I should have taken French lessons. <laughs> Knock, knock, knocking on my door. Oh, is it one of my oh so many party guests arriving early, perhaps? Huh? <gasps> Strange. I do not see anyone who's there at all. I have moved to these farthest moist reaches of the Antarctic so that I could have parties as wild as I want and would not be disturbing people. <laughs> Yet, my guests do not seem to be arriving for the party of the year. Hmm, I am wondering who of everyone I know can that be in my big comfortable water bed? Why, your little tuxedo is exquisite, my friend. <gasps> you are my very expensive caterer. Please, then, to go to the kitchen and work your little tales of preparing the party of the year. <clears throat> I have ordered this ice sculpture of the handsome horse, which would be me. Please decorate it with some pretty flowers and whatnot. Make it nice, colorful, plus make it snappy, my extremely petite little caterer. What is my sleepy head caterer doing now? It is so hard to find good help. Your behavior has outraged my sense of fair playing. I will now give you only one more chance, my little problem maker. Now get to work pulling this salt water taffy. For it is whimsical and yet so unexpectedly transcontinental to serve taffy at the party of the year. <laughs> If that boy thinks he's getting a dip, he is sadly mistaken. Can I ask do you something? Have you been a caterer for very long? Hmm? Aha! So you are new on the job. Uh, that would explain. Uh, what? If you are not new on the job and you are not. Uh, uh, wait a moment! A thought has now stricken a blow to my brain. 
You must be one of my specifically invited party guests! <laughs> Are you the Canadian Prime Minister? Hey? Are you Princess Beatrix of the Netherlands? Wait! It cannot be so! You are my long-lost cousin, Serge, whom I have loved and missed dearly since childhood. Oh, I can now see it in your beady little eyes. Serge! Oh, we are reunited at long last. Serge, you must help. The caterer has failed to arrive. Together alone, we must prepare for the party of the year. You will help me by inflating their balloons, yes? Then you will blow like zo. Now you. What is it now, my very irksome and not long enough lost cousin? Perhaps it is what we call a blockage. Similar to what is the problem in that little head of yours, cousin Serge. Remember how you used to dance the disco all the time when we were children, huh? Well, tonight you will do nothing but be my disc jockey, yes? Huh? to those crisp highs and boom titty boom lows <laughs> you are no caterer you are not cousin Serge you are a party crasher I punish you deeply from the party of the year The guests will no doubting it be arriving soon. I will be on the lookout. <laughs> that is the final straw which is now breaking my back into miserable pieces! Uh-oh. Until I get my claws on you, you miserable! My guests! Welcome to the party of the... Huh? Are you, uh, Mr. Bear? We've had complaints of a loud party going on here. But this party has not even started, eh? Let's go, buddy. Come on. But this is an outrage, I'm telling you now! I will report you to the Prime Minister, the Princess of Outer Caledonia! Sleepy Time Serenade for a special news bulletin. The disabled Russian satellite did not land in the ocean as predicted. It has entered Earth's atmosphere, but scientists have no idea where it will crash. What in the world? Hey, who dumped this big hunk of junk in my yard? Mm hmm, the recycle yard ought to pay a few bucks for this. Nineteen, twenty smackaronis. Not bad for a short nap's work. It is now believed that the disabled Russian satellite crashed down somewhere in this city. And there's a five million ruble reward for its return. Five million rubles? Well, why didn't you say so? I gotta get my satellite back. <laughs> My satellite inside. Guard dog on duty. 
Yeah, try woodpecker on reconnaissance. <laughs> Get a job, you lazy mutt. our satellite. We thank you. You have certainly earned your reward. 
Yeah, tell me about it. Five million rubles, right? Correct. Do you want it in Russian rubles or American dollars? I like the green stuff. With the current exchange rate, it's worth exactly $12. Uh, wh wh what? Oh, and two cents. Rate went up this morning. Rubles? Fully. <laughs>